Hey yo, what's up guys, it's Mutix here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to data mine Fortnite. So today, so data mining Fortnite is pretty much just where you are able to get into the files and and just be able to look around, have a look at the skins that haven't been released yet, and everything you could possibly think of that's in the game. So I'm going to leave the link, in, I'm going to leave a link in the description for this. And what's in this is a application, a batch file, and like all of this stuff will be in it. And, um, basic, so yeah, so once you have that installed on your computer, you're gonna wanna go back, you're gonna, you're gonna want to go to your files, and then go to, go to this PC, local disk, and once you're there, from there, click program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, packs, and then you'll just drag everything from this file into here. So, basically, this batch file is here to make everything easier on you. So, basically, what it does is it's this, and it'll pretty much just start up you model so you can get into it without having to type in everything. So, Fortnite's been changing their AES key. Well, they haven't been changing their AES key lately, so it's been saying the same. But whenever the AES key is changed, it'll be in the Discord that I'm working on. That sh that'll be in the description below. And, basically, whenever it is, you'll just want to come here. Just call, just replace, replace this with the new AES key, which will be in my Discord. And um, if you have any questions, I'll be in my Discord after the video is up, and I'll be answering every question that you all may have. So yeah, so once you have that on there, you just want to click it, and it'll do all the work for you with opening it up. And um, yeah, so we'll wait for wait for it to load up, and then you'll come up to a screen like this. And then you want to go to content. So now, now I'm just going to show you the basic area for all the stuff that people want to see. So for 3D models of skins, you're just it's just going to be as simple as going from content to characters and to player and then mail. And then you would click any one of these. So medium and then let's do bodies. And you'll choose one that you want to see. So let's do... Let's do Venus, and then you'll click Meshes, and then, and, and then click the one that ends with .uasset, not any of these, because these, it, there's no visual object, so it just won't work, and there's nothing you can do about it. But um, this one, it'll show you the body of it, and then the heads, the heads would be, yeah, the heads would be right there. So after you're there, just close out of that file and go to heads. So for for a better look, so that's for three D models. Now for the featured items, for the featured skins, you would go to UI, go to UI, then go to Foundation, and then go down to Textures, and then click Battle Royale, featured items, and then you could do outfit, glider, pickaxe, backpack doesn't work for some reason, but and then once you have that. The easier way, you can just click on it and see everything, but the easiest way to do it is to select select all of them or the one. Yeah, select all of them, and then just click export. I already have them exported, so I'm not going to do that again. So then once you have them exported, go back to the file where you moved where you moved the first file in there. So the packs, the packs folder, and then just go to U model export. UI, foundation, textures, and just follow it through featured items, outfits, and then make sure for this to work, make sure you have paint.net installed on your computer, and I'll leave a link for that in the description or else it won't look like this. So then once you have this, then you can see all of them, like there's all the soccer skins, and then there's some of the new skins that haven't been added yet. Well, by the time you're seeing this, some of the skins would be up, but um, so yeah, there's the skins, and then... We now, if you want to see the gliders, you would just do the same exact thing: export, and then go, go back here, and then gliders. There would be an option for gliders right there. So, let's do export. I don't all export. No, I don't think I exported all of them, but I probably did. But so then there's all the gli there's the gliders, or some of them. So yeah, so then you would just go from there. So um, you're here. Then if you want to see the pickaxes, the same thing. Just export. Let it export and then go back here. Go back to featured items, pickaxe. So, um, that's basically all that I have for this video. And um, I know I went kind of fast, and you all may not have got it, but 
just feel free to join my Discord down in the description below, and we'll and I'll help you with any question you may have. So, and all the information will be provided in my Discord, like the AES key and the there'll be pass, like the pass to get there. So yeah, and there's a support channel. So me and my friend will be just going there and we'll answer all your questions. Have a good day. Peace.